how the kids like. Tell me about the kids. I, I, you know what? I'm sick of hearing people on TV talk about their goddamn kids. <laughs> it's enough with the kids. Let's talk about our lives, OK? We're having fantastic lives, you and I. See, I, all I want to know is about your kids, because I don't know okay. anything about raising a child. So I, I, I look to somebody who has more than I do, and I, and I think I'll learn something. What do they do? What do they like to do? What do you, where are you going on vacation? Uh, we go all over the world on vacation, as you might imagine, to the most fabulous places, doing the most wonderful things. What would you do if you were me? <laughs> wow. Um, but the thing that's great about kids is they don't care what you think is great. You, that's right. Right? You that's could, right. Look at how great this hotel is. Mm -hmm. They don't care. No. No. Look, at, look at this fantastic car I've got. It's stupid to them. Yeah. Everything you mm -hmm. like, they've got to take the other side. That's, that's the great balancing thing mm -hmm. of, of kids. They're not impressed with anything you're impressed no, with. No, because when, when uh, my son was born, uh, I was expecting me. Right. And uh, thank God it's not. Right. He's, you're he's hoping, as I was, to get a small resemblance of yourself right. that sits next to you quietly and watches TV. Yeah, and, and, and behaved exactly, you thought. and yeah. enjoyed the same things I right. enjoyed, and, and sounded like me and looked like me. Right, yeah. right. It didn't work out that way. Uh, now, now, after high school, uh, did you go to college? I did. I went to two different schools. I graduated. Queens College in New York, very proudly, only because no one in my family ever had graduated. I mm -hmm. knew I was going to be a comedian two years before, but I thought this would be nice for them that I would graduate. Right. Yeah, same, so, same with me. Really? E exactly the same with me. Oh, that's interesting. I, I was the first person to graduate in my family from college, and that was the big motivator to, to get it done. You weren't really fired from CBS, were you? Is that, your, is that just your joke? That's a joke line. Did it, did it get a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> it did get a laugh. Eh, not much of one. <laughs> Were you really ready at that time to go? I'll tell you something. I, I wish now, looking back at my life, I should have left 10 years ago, because then I could have taken some of that energy and focus and applied it to actually doing something good for humans. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't, because <laughs> I think you could not have done more for humans than what you did. You think, you think of your career as a self-aggrandizing, yes. self-satisfying, yes. yes. self- uh, uh, Enriching. Self-enriching, thank you, uh, pursuit. And if you're any good at it, Mr. Letterman, mm. you're not that kind of person. If you're really, Thinking like that, you're going to suck, and you know that that's true. The people that are good at it do it because they know it's making people happy, and that's what's driving them. And that's why you were so great. You're very generous with your, I, I with your praise, true. but uh, it, the same is a description of, of you. More you than me, for why? God's Why sense. more than me? Well, because, you know, I was looking at some stuff. Rolling Stone said that uh, Seinfeld was the greatest Situation comedy of all oh, time. Oh, David. Of all oh, that's time. A, that's a stupid statement, but it's, it's a nice compliment. So when you first started doing Late Night, you, you were, from the very beginning, here's why I was saying this to somebody the other day, and it applies to no one better than you. The secret to television, and I think there's some Netflix people here who, who, who would, the secret to television is the person who gets the opportunity wants to reform this type of content to them mm -hmm. personally. Yeah, that's true. That's absolutely true. When, when I started in television, uh, I used to talk to people on the staff, and it was, uh, oh boy, wait till they see this. W this is the thing that television has been waiting for. Right. I can't, I can't <laughs> wait to get out there and show them what they've been missing all these years. And then you get out there and you realize, well, no, you're not the savior you would like to be. And, and really, when it gets right down to it, people would pretty much just rather watch what they've been watching anyway, so leave us alone. Yeah, no, well, you couldn't be more wrong there. Because you were the savior, you were the guy who smashed the glass and said, <sighs> well, what if we just did this a whole different way that I think is funny uh, for no particular reason? So